welcome to the first episode of the podcast. With me today, I have one of the bubble brains, Hannah. How you doing, Hannah? Good. Yeah. It's yeah. weird, isn't it? It's so fucking. I mean, that should do it. This. Welcome to the cringiest podcast ever. Oh God. We don't know. We don't know what we're doing. <laughs> no, we don't. I'm going back to push to talk in case I cringe. If no one can hear you, it never happened. <laughs> well that's true that's true i woke up today mm. i was going to stream but then i was like no nah. because i had a weird dream have, have you had like dreams it's not a nightmare but you wo- you wake up and you feel sick like it's you just feel weird yeah i've had this yeah that was me today so i decided to clean the house <laughs> yeah i need to clean really bad like you really show bad. Me how dirty oh well- what? <laughs> you and Randy Hello? live in a dirty house. It's not that bad. It's just a house with two fucking dogs in it. <laughs> That's just literally it. <laughs> Do you scrub your a dogs? House with two dogs? Like give them baths? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Do they like it? No, they hate it. They oh, fucking really? hate it. Yeah. Like um Megan, if you try to take her, you have to carry her and she'll go dead weight. She's super dramatic about it. She immediately just starts drooping. And she'll always run to the person who's not trying to pick her up to put her in the bathtub. She's a mess. <laughs> my, my mom dog my mom's dog love it. Yeah. I wish my dogs enjoyed it. Like Yogi will like do it now, but only if you let him drink the water. He doesn't care if you let him drink the water, but if you don't let him take a few slurps, he's pissed the entire time. Oh? Yeah. He's kind of a a whore like that, you know? Oh, damn. Calling a dog a whore. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, I just found out something today about my headset. What? It's fucked. Uh Uh-oh. That's not good. Like now, you're talking, but I can't. Hold on. There you go. Hello. Uh oh, that's not good. Not professional. Oh my god. If that's I look to the I left, did. the headset goes out. If I touch the cord, mm-hmm. the headset goes out. Oof, that's not good. No. <sighs> but I did contact them, so I'm probably gonna going to get a new one, right? Hopefully, yeah. Yeah, they do have good service. Cause yeah, it's just this. So. E. E. Oh my god, Hannah, last year. What? 2020? Why? What? Oh. <laughs> the start Why of the year always was a meme to me because, you know, like, global warm is not a thing, but then the whole of Australia was burning and shit. <laughs> yeah, as I say, the whole world caught on fire, but, like, it's fine. We're uh-huh. fine. And I'm pretty sure those fires, like, affected everywhere else when it comes to snowing and shit. Because, you know, yeah, I would assume so. Yeah. Yeah. Because last year we had snow for like nine months. Constant. Did you really? That's fucking gross, dude. Yeah, we almost hit the record because in 97 was the record up here. People couldn't even open their doors. <laughs> Jesus. No, that's awful. Yeah, I'm so glad I don't want an area like shit. that. Yeah, but I mean, <clears throat> it's it's nice to have like seasons though. Yeah, I get all four seasons, not one for nine months and the other three in another. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like I actually get all four seasons. Winter sucks here lately, though. Like it's it, been snowing like a foot of snow at least once uh, every year. You guys yeah. stole the snow. <laughs> God, fuck snow. You can have it back. <sighs> yeah, but people see snow and they say, ah, global warmers is fake. Oh, my God. Just because it gets cold, motherfucker, doesn't mean it's not gradually getting hotter, okay? Exactly. And yeah, obviously the Earth goes through cycles and it's like this and that, but we are making it go a lot faster. Yeah, it's no. It's unhealthy for it. I say. think they said by... Hold on, let me get the date right. I think they said by like 2025, if we don't start working on it, like the damage will be irreversible and we're just fucked. Yeah. I mean... Our generation is not going to see most of it. Right? That's true. Fuck the planet. Let's ruin it. No, no, it's not, it's not. Good point. Thanks, Ron. 
Excuse me, let me go turn on my car for no fucking reason. I'm going to get the blame for this. <laughs> fair point, fair point. Oh, I can't wait to pollute the earth. I, I know, right? Oh, dude, yep. that's why I always There's piss nothing. outside. Right? There's nothing yeah. more satisfying than just destroying the planet for other people. Well, people would just say, that's just pee around, that's natural. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm pissing energy fuel. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I had talk. a really gross joke that I'm not going to make. Why not? Because it grossed me out. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. You want to know something depressing? What? COVID is still happening. Yeah, that's true. Thanks, America. I mean, yeah. <laughs> but also other places. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of people being idiots about it, but I mean... The privilege to go on vacations, yeah. apparently. Oh, I miss, I miss vacation. I'm poor. I never could make vacations, but I miss the option, you know? Yeah. yeah. I <sighs> mean, in my country, I'm also looked at as poor right basically mm, are you i don't know i yeah, guess so yeah this is like the lowest but our country also have like the save the this what the fuck what do you call it fail safe because when people don't uh, have jobs yeah. and shit you still get taken care of <laughs> oh i don't know how that feels buddy yeah and so i'm sorry yeah no we've literally gotten 1800 dollars from our government out of everything Jesus. we pay, eighteen hundred dollars, and that's not even like to put it in perspective. That would be your rent, your electric bill, and your groceries for like two weeks. Yeah, it's, it's that's nothing. how much they fed us. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. America started late too with the being careful shit. That's because they pretended it wasn't real. <laughs> I mean, the name is COVID-19. It started in 19, 2019. Yeah, it did. End of 2019. And yeah. it's still going strong. Like, hello? I feel it's the same as the beginning still, right? Mm, I don't know, number-wise. Let's see. I mean, some vaccines are working, but uh, the mutation shit happening over here. Oh, yeah. I don't know that that's hit us yet, but I haven't checked on it lately um a lot of people in the u.s are freaking out because they're getting sick from the vaccine from the second shot dude that's even normal. with the flu shot you got sick yeah. like that's normal and people are flipping out just because it has a fancy name yeah the same happened with the swine flu i always forget about the swine flu yeah my, my dad got it almost died it wasn't a coma for three weeks Shit. Yeah, but obviously he had already damaged uh, his shit by uh, drinking. Not like not that yeah. he had like a big issue with that, but during his life he's been drinking a lot or eating shit. Yeah. yeah. Um. I feel like I don't know. Swine flu. I don't remember. I was young. Granted, swine flu wasn't as big as COVID was here in America, at least. Um, cause I remember as a kid, like hearing about it and it was yeah. like, oh, this is a scary monster under the bed almost. <sighs> and then never witnessing anybody getting it and being really confused. And while I took COVID fairly seriously as an adult, I feel like that definitely made me underestimate COVID at first, if that makes sense. No, that, that does make sense. Yeah, because I was like, oh, it's just like swine flu, where it never really hit us. It can't hit us, blah, 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 you know? <laughs> and oh, then it happened, stupid. yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah, and the numbers at the moment, I don't know, it's kind of... Yeah, depressing. Yeah, there's 103 million people being that ha has had it so far. I know, it fucking sucks. Like, America has been so bad, too. I, I only keep saying America because that's... Where yeah, I live, USA. That's where I relate. Yeah. yeah. Um, hopefully that fixes, though. They're, uh, granted, it probably won't fix, honestly, because <laughs> we literally had a protest at one of the vaccination sites where they were stopping people from getting the vaccination. 
Like, damn. Mind your own business. Get sick if you want. But I'll stop other people from doing what they want to do with their fucking body. That's fucking ridiculous. Yeah. Fucking assholes, dude. People are so crazy now. I don't get it. Same. There's almost a half a million people that have died in your country from this. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah. very true. One, uh, my state's one of the leaders in cases and deaths. And, like, I'm talking, like, in comparison to New York, which is ridiculous because my state is tiny compared to New York. Oh, yeah, I remember you said that. Yeah. New York insane. is, like, one of the biggest, right, over there? Yeah, they are. Um, Let me pull up. Let's see here. So, we are... We are number 11 oh. in the U.S. And we don't even have that high of a population in comparison to so many other states. Um, which is insane. We're beating New Jersey, which I think is hilarious. Because when I think of New Jersey, I think of like fucking crazy nasty people. I'm just uh, saying. Filthy party people and like, yeah. <laughs> uh, don't take care of themselves. Oh my God. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I fight for the right to party. Right? Like, I don't know, but they're up north. And this is a general stereotype that I have, but, like, people up north tend mm-hmm. to be a little bit smarter than people in the south. I mean, I yeah, I don't live over there, but I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. just better education. Yeah. I feel like that's just it, is better education. Because... Um, there's literally like entire like stores and stuff in my area that they won't even make their employees wear masks, which is insane to me. Like, I don't, it's not that hard. It's just a piece of fabric over your nose. Like, come on, Uh man. Safety. If you want this shit to end. Yep. There's so many stores that don't don't want to follow shit and like, oh, my store is going under because of this. Then follow shit. Yeah. Follow shit. Be careful. You cover your face. They'll fucking come, bro. Like they will. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that is what she said <laughs> that is what she said yeah but yeah since you talked about the north and the south stuff you know obviously aren't most racist from the south too um, or is that just a stereotypical thing now i in my experience i've met more racists in the south than I have anywhere else because I've traveled quite a little bit. Yeah. Um, and it again spawns from lack of education, really, um, or too much education because you're, you're kind of taught hate, you know? Like if you have shitty parents that teach you shitty habits, then you're going to go with them unless you go out of your way to educate yourself. But yeah, there's, it's, it's kind of sad. Like I'll show you videos later. Yeah, uh, stuff that uh, I've seen firsthand. It's what people say, like you know, heritage and culture. It, it's like, oh my god, yeah. It goes over generations and shit. Yeah, heritage and culture is really frustrating. Yeah, because you were not born to be a piece of shit. No, <laughs> you know, no one like was. that's. If that's your heritage, you need to change your fucking story. You know, like. Especially with like stuff like the Confederate flag and stuff like that. That's Ugh, no, sake. you can't use a piece of fabric to justify why you're a piece of shit. <laughs> like you can't hide behind it. You're you're a piece of shit. Just admit it. I'm a piece of shit. I'm not a bad person. Piece of shit. You are, but like, bro, don't hide behind a fucking flag. That's not cool. That flag is so weird, though, right? How long was that a thing, though? Oh like, my god, it didn't last um, long. Th- I need to like one day i'll explain it to you but basically <laughs> it, i'm sure you've heard the confederate flag is the flag for losers which is totally fine they basically let um totally fine okay um, um they basically let this group of people change history to make the confederate flag look honorable that's the only reason we have it um so after they lost the war they started campaigning and trying to make them look like the good guys. And it worked. And here we are with a fucking flag. I literally drive to work, Ron, and mm. there's like a 20 foot by 20, like 
20 foot mile whatever flag like confederate flag on this massive flagpole on a hill like on my way to work what that's fuck? fucking ridiculous to me like it's literally just sitting in the middle of a cow field yeehaw <laughs> but i don't know i'd love to know his story like people have literally vandalized that flag to try to get him to take it down and he just buys a new one and puts it back up which vandalism is not okay but you know no but i i get it yeah what a yeah. stubborn boomer I know, fucking grandpas, man. Because <laughs> you know it's taking him some time to get up there. Is he a baby boomer? Yeah, he is. is. He's called? old. It's called. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Baby boomer. Didn't, I mean, didn't you see a lot of like uh, Black Lives Matter stuff? I did. Yeah, I took part in the protest. There were. Oh, I remember, yeah, you you told me that you met some shitholes yeah. too. Oh my god, that's a video I'm going to show you uh, later. I don't have the girl's consent to like publicly post it. And I think yeah. you might have seen it last year because she had let it on my Facebook. I'm just not going to spread it around everywhere else. But this guy, mm. we were protesting because a pawn shop owner, um, he pushed over a black girl and started swinging a gun at the cops. And they did nothing to him. Like, nothing at all. So they were protesting it because, one, that's unfair whether she had been a black girl or a white girl. It's fucked up. Like, don't yeah. fucking start swinging a gun at people. So we were protesting. And a couple hours in, these people come and they've got signs basically worshiping Trump and saying, uh, fuck N-word lives. And... So the crowd approaches them, doesn't put their hands on them, stays about five feet away. The dude swings on my friend, and she's like a tiny, like little, like 21, 22 year old. She's tiny, swings on him. She blocks it and swings back, busts his nose open, by the way. Awesome swing. <laughs> and they grab her, slam her against a car, and walk him away without handcuffs. Because of the skin color. Yeah, the only difference is the color of their skin, which is super fucked up. Jesus. I mean, I'm not surprised by all the stuff we already know, but mm -hmm. yeah. God. Yeah. Is she okay now? Oh, yeah, she's good. She handled it like a trooper. Um, They like, tried to arrest her and let him go, and the entire group of protesters swarmed around them, wrapped her in the biggest group hug I've ever seen. And um, <laughs> we have a law here that says the police can change their mind about an arrest if they think it'll start a riot. So they let her go because they could yeah. not get to her. I think something like, would have happened. Yeah, it sounds like it. Yeah, like nobody was being violent on our end. Like a group hug was used to fight cops. That should tell you a lot about the difference between the two people that are fighting. Like... It was a group hug and yeah. people just saying, please just let her go. This isn't fair. And they still wanted to arrest her. It took like 20 minutes of that group hug just to get them to give up Oh my god! because they couldn't get cops in like other cops inside to the two cops that were trying to take her away. So many shitty people. I know. Dude, I think yeah. it takes six years to become a cop in Norway. Yeah, I want to know why it would take me longer because I want to get my cosmetology license. Uh -huh. I want to know why it would take me longer to get that than to be a cop, like for the training to be a cop. That's insane to me. Uh -huh. That makes no sense. And you can't really like, you can blame the cops to an extent, but their lack of training is also a major issue. Yeah. Like the people who are supposed to be training them and like, growing them for this need to take responsibility too and nobody wants to take that responsibility they just want to blame exclusively the police officers and they do deserve a lot of the blame obviously because they're adult humans but it's the system yeah. also like like no one's adult. telling you to walk into someone's house and murder somebody <laughs> but like at the same time they weren't exactly trained for the job like i don't know it's frustrating there's been a few psychopaths in the police oh yeah there have there definitely have yeah I think there was, uh, no, I don't know. I can't say it if it's not true. So that I read <laughs> something about a serial killer or something in America that he used to be a cop. And then after, no, he was going to kill someone. Yeah. 
To be honest, that sounds like an episode of Criminal Minds, and I cannot confirm whether it's true or not. <laughs> yeah, I didn't check this up, so I can't even say even more than that. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. You like Disney movies, right? I love Disney movies. They're a guilty pleasure for me. Why? Yeah, and Disney Pixar, though, right? Yes. Yes, okay. Have you seen Soul? I have not. I need to. Yes. Because, like, I realized there's not many black community animated movies you know like yeah. with main actors or yeah around their culture and stuff and that's soul oh i yeah. heard it, a bunch of people cry didn't it yeah it's emotional but it's expected from uh, those movies right like up oh my god <laughs> yeah oh my god it has david diggs in it i will definitely watch it i love that man's okay david <laughs> diggs is so talented like I first discovered him, uh, probably most people did, but out of Hamilton, like is where I first discovered him, and I just became obsessed. Like he's just so cool. The guy who write uh, write songs. Um, David Diggs is. Have you seen Hamilton? No, we plan on doing it. We're really oh, behind on that. I'm so sorry. We're gonna watch it. David Diggs is. Um, he's like a Broadway. Uh, actor and singer oh okay i thought you meant uh uh lynn okay yeah, yeah i get it yeah no, but he's really good i'm gonna i'm gonna educate you and we're gonna watch hamilton at some point i guess i it's don't have so a choice yeah it's like ugh, i'm excited <laughs> well uh, maria hasn't seen it either we all have to watch it together we're gonna have a movie date yeah i'm excited it's kind of funny because, you know, in Norway, watching American movies, it's just normal. We don't look at it as like international, but it is, obviously. Yeah. So when we're talking about, oh, South Korean movies, that's international. But so is everything else we watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. South Korean stuff is really good. Have you like, seen Parasite? I have not seen Parasite. I've then, seen a few like little like one-offs and stuff like that. Yeah. I think the first time I ever watched a South Korean show or movie was like in high school i think holy shit that's Damn. like seven years ago but yeah no they're really good here you go ahead sorry i interrupted you no i wasn't going to say a lot more just parasite is really good and i wouldn't rewatch it mm -hmm. yeah no, I, it's in my list that's good that's good uh, watching movies with people that haven't seen it and i have seen it it's like a mm -hmm. a good feeling for me Oh, I used yeah. I used to be a dick when I was younger. I like, oh, you guys want to watch this? Oh. Yeah. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I used to ask people if they wanted to watch a movie. And then like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, and then we choose the day. And I watch it the day before. Do you really? Yeah. And <laughs> just so I can like experience in a different way with them. Because for me, <laughs> it doesn't change a lot. Cause I like. So you like react first, and then watch other people react. Yes. I got you. Okay. Yes. I mean, it's okay. it, it's also rude. Uh, well, it really depends on the person, really. Like, I wouldn't find that to be rude. I'd feel a little bad because I feel like it would be like boring for you the second time around. But I wouldn't perceive yeah. that as rude, you know. The, the this depends on the movies, obviously. But some movies I can know. I'm going to want to watch again. Yeah, I feel yeah. that. Yeah. Hannah. What? The Bible was right. About what? Everything. We talked about Listen. the fires, right? Mm. Earth burning, right? I'm, I am not want to talk about religion. Too. Okay. <laughs> I, I just... <laughs> I'm just going to move over to like what happened in Africa last year too. The locust for swarm. It was massive. Yeah. And then the pandemic I, and shit. Oh my God. <laughs> I remember that. Like the pandemic kind of like massively overshadowed the locusts. Yeah. If, it, if there wasn't no pandemic, we would have like been really focused on that. Yeah, I think. For sure. Yeah. Um, what was it? It was like the one. It was the worst outbreak they've had in like what like 70 80 years something like that yeah like it's been like forever that's fucking crazy dude yeah like yeah. imagine their food 
Like, you know people went hungry because of that. Because locusts just take and take and take. Yeah, they're not necessary, I think, for the cycle, as we call it. Right? Um, Aren't um, they like, no, wait, no? no? I think the only animal that is not beneficial to the environment in some way at all would be mosquitoes. Fuck mosquitoes. Oh, yeah. They fucking suck. Yeah, I think you're right. I was going to say pandas. Pandas are adorable. Don't come for them, the panda bear. Uh, dude, and... pandas, they just eat the bamboo forest. They don't even want to fuck. <laughs> That's true. They don't want to have sex. They just want to die. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah, no, fuck pandas. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we did save them. I don't think they're like really endangered anymore. Speaking of endangered bears, um, the Detroit Zoo polar bear, which is sad that it's in a zoo, but of course. she gave birth to twins. They're <gasps> so cute. Twins. Well, oh, I don't know if that happens, happened with us too. Like there's a zoo up here north a few mm-hmm. years ago and uh, she had twins, I think. I don't know if it's fake or not, but they're siblings oh. at least. And they were called Salt and Pepper. Salt and pepper, that's so fucking cute. Yeah. Oh, man. I love that. Wow, the Southern came out there. Holy crap. At least we know Ooh. you and Randy are going to come over one day. And then, we can, yeah. and then we can go there. Absolutely. Having friends around the world is good because you only have to really pay for the travel and sometimes the food when you stay there. Yeah, because I can just crash on your couch. <laughs> I mean, basically, yeah. But yeah, hopefully yeah. a little bit better than that, yeah. <laughs> You know what? I was just thinking that's one positive of COVID. I'm I'm backtracking a little bit. I yeah, don't think I got a sick mosquito bite last oh, year. Oh, that's good. I go outside, motherfucker. <laughs> I mean, in that way, we're kind of privileged where we live. There's not really that many people. You don't have mosquitoes up there because it's so cold, right? Ah, uh, Lord, we have a lot of mosquitoes. Gross. Well, you yeah. live by the water, so you would have a bunch. Yeah. Wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, but it's more where my mama lives because she lives on a mountain, basically, and it's like, yeah, there's more there. That's all. I mean, yeah, just more. Fuck mosquitoes. Those old motherfuckers. I hate them so much. How dare you? My brother is a Bless- mosquito. Uh, blood such- blood sucking leech. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, there was like a k- kids show. It's they have the same name, Magnus, and it's mm-hmm. a mosquito. It's a mosquito for a kids show. Yeah. What? <laughs> I don't, I can't Google it in English. No, wait. Um, it's not a mosquito. It's it, he has a friend that's a mosquito. My bad. Hold up. Is this show like claymation? I feel like I hold on. <laughs> it can't translate it. It would just be Magnus and the mosquito. <laughs> in Norwegian, I it's uh, Magnus or Megan. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's fucking weird. Yeah. That's so fucking weird. Okay, then. Well, you have a cartoon about a mosquito. All right, then. Don't judge us. <laughs> that's fucking weird. Granted, we've had some really weird cartoons, too. We had one, and I vividly remember it. And I can almost never remember the name, except maybe, like, once a year. Uh-huh. Um, I'll try to find it for you. But she's it's literally, like, these paper cutouts as a cartoon but they like put real faces on their faces. So you have this like paper cut out body with a real face. And it was fucking terrifying as a kid. Like, I don't know why anyone ever made this. <sighs> Let me, f- oh my God, I will find a picture and send it to you. It's fucking terrifying. Okay. I'm scared. Yeah, it's scary. You want to like, <sighs> like know how you can feel even older? Oh God, I mean, what? even though we're like half his age, uh, you mm-hmm. know, uh, Macaulay Culkin. Yes. He turned 40 last year. Holy shit. Um, there's other people that are getting up there in age. That's blowing my fucking mind. Um, this may not hold any relevance to you, but I've been like going back and binging America's Next Top Model because why not? Because <laughs> those stupid bitches always do the dumbest shit. I mean, it's a meme show. All... Yeah, it is. It is a meme show. Um, and they're all over 30 now. 
Damn. Like all the girls, they were like 18. And I remember watching them as a kid and they're all over 30 now. And that fucks with me. <laughs> like some of them are 45, Ron. That messes with my head. I know. Like, it's just what I said. Our lone kid is 40. Home alone. Oh my God. I hate it here. Come get me. Mom, come get me. <laughs> I can't save you from reality. <laughs> Why Norway not? is just, uh, it's outside the reality, right? Oh, yeah, that's true. You are. Oh, my God. I found the show for you. Hold on. Oh, my God. If you remember, I need you. Oh, my God. She looks like Emma Chamberlain. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> I need you to put a picture of this up. If Okay, hold on. Drag it over. You're so professional. I'm professional? Okay, sure, Jan. <laughs> Excuse you. Did you hear my intro? <laughs> okay yeah fair point <laughs> nah you'll you'll get used to it it's not that big of a deal yeah this is the first one and yeah obviously it's gonna be cringe oh wait i think i've seen this i'm gonna i'm gonna show you a picture of the fucking scenes this is terrifying <laughs> show me the spookies those are children ron they're yeah. children and they look like that I don't like I it. I hate it here. It's Look at this. You. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which one scares like, me the most. They actually they actively chose to make her face look like that. Like what Why? happened? Like I feel bullied by this entire show existing. Oh my god. Look at their parents. Hold on. Look at the fucking parents. What the hell? Like, I am terrified. I w Dude, I just got to point out something, though. Point it. They're naked. Yeah, I was seeing that, too. I'm, I'm trying to figure out why. <laughs> why are they naked? I have no fucking clue. Why are you showing me this? Oh, my God. <laughs> Hold on, let me find it. I'm trying to find why they're naked. I'm really, I'm really trying to find why they're naked in that picture because I don't remember that. Also, he looks like he has a questionable tattoo on his chest. The dad does. Like, he looks like he got like a tattoo when he was drunk at a bar one year, and now unless that's supposed to be his chest hair? Question mark. I Probably don't. it has to be, but it just looks oh. so weird. This show's Canadian. That's why it's so fucking weird. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Canadian We'll have to people. thank Mace for that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll blame Mace for that one. She better explain. <laughs> I'm gonna just add her, at her later and just like send her a picture of Angela Anaconda and just be like, explain now. I mean, sorry, <laughs> Hannah, that I'm gonna say what I'm saying. How can you diss oh, no. Canada? Your people Listen. fucking raided the capital. I mean, we didn't make this cartoon, though. Uh, okay, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> no, America's fucked. I feel like we all acknowledge that America's fucked. I mean, isn't like, Biden already trying to fix it? Yeah, no, he's he's reversed a bunch I mean, of can't Trump's really executive fix, orders. can't fix what's happening. It's, it's the people, the families. That's Yeah, yeah I agree. Um, yeah. A lot of it's just people... Um, feeling like they have the right to be such horrible human beings because they had such a horrible human being as a president and it's going to take a while for them to uh, be afraid to be bad people again. Yeah. So. And there we go again, like with what we said with the police. Obviously, they're adults. They could think, but the president also have like a powerful voice. Yeah. So it's also that again, the system. <laughs> yeah. So as long as uh, we actually get shit working out, I mean... There's an amazing opportunity to try at least to fix shit, but we'll see what happens. I'm... It looks okay so far, but like, I don't know. Yeah, I have my TV on. <laughs> I'll watch. <laughs> yeah, everybody does. Yeah. We are like the reality TV for the rest of the world. So, I mean, at the same time, what's happening over there also is affecting the world because the West is so, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, I, I know what you mean. Yeah, we have a major impact on the rest of the world. Yeah. But nobody seems to, like, acknowledge it. 
because most Americans think they're the center of the world and nothing else exists outside of America. <laughs> there's actually, I think there's a few people that think Europe is a country. Do they really? Yeah. Listen, <laughs> people aren't that stupid, are they? There's a few people think the Holocaust is fake, Hannah. Oh my god, I forgot that people think the Holocaust was fake. Then they must oh believe my... Europe is a country. Imagine thinking that six million people, over six million people, didn't actually die. It was all a fever dream or just fake news. Like what? <gasps> I don't I don't know. Because maybe yeah. they're thinking like their war was just between Japan. I mean it wasn't really a war, just men. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty That's sure it was just men insane. measuring dicks. That's crazy. I read something the other day uh-huh. and it was a quote and it was something along the lines of conspiracies come from lack of knowledge about a subject. And I feel like that makes a lot of sense with people who wouldn't think the Holocaust is real and stuff like that. Like clearly someone didn't pay attention in world history class. I'm yeah, just true. saying. Uh, wait, how, how, how much do you guys learn in world history? Um, they burned through a lot of it really fast. Like when I was in history, we learned at least like one topic from every country, like every, not every, like not the little countries. Um, Cause I guess they were irrelevant to us, but like the major events that happened, yeah. like the building of the great wall of China, um, Mongolians, we learned about them. Um, didn't really learn shit about Norway, which I think is hilarious. <sighs> I mean, we haven't uh, really done that much. Yeah. I mean, we could have didn't... taken over a lot if we did more right in the Viking time. Not that I want yeah. that to be a thing. <laughs> True, but like just hindsight. Yeah. Um, we didn't really <laughs> learn about female world leaders. The more, the older I got, the more. I realized they didn't like we didn't learn anything about Queen Elizabeth, but we learned about King Henry. Um That's weird. barely. We Queen didn't Elizabeth learn Elizabeth about... the first, right? Um yes. The, one the, now current... Is the second, I think. Yeah, and the current one. We also yeah. didn't learn about her. But she's cute. Um, okay, fine. She's adorable, by the way. I she's fucking so love tiny. her. This is the kind of grandma you want. Oh my god. <laughs> the little pictures of her in her hoodie driving her Range Rover. <laughs> I lost my shit, dude. <laughs> But yeah, we learned a little bit. Um, not nearly enough to actually like help you hold a genuine conversation with other people. But I mean, they taught us about men and stuff. So I guess, okay. Yay, yeah, men, right? And... I think we have had women twice now. Have you? Yeah, we have a woman right now. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. Minister, that's all... And then we had one in the past. I mean, we do uh, have. She a, like, a, is she a woman or is she like a ugh, woman? I mean, she's on. I mean, you can't compare your country to mine <laughs> when it comes to right and left, but she's on the right side, and I'm not. Yeah. Yeah, but still. Gotcha. Yeah, she's selling ground on our country. Is she really? Yeah, because she think money now, not like you know, like the thirty years to come and shit. Okay, so she's like the bitch in the apartment that like sells her stuff instead of actually going out and trying to make money. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we don't <laughs> like her. We don't like her. I mean, she uh, smells. <laughs> in politics, I don't know how I feel about her, but her as a person actually isn't that bad. Yeah. But still, it's yeah, a woman, not... <laughs> so it's kind of good. That yeah. Way. It makes sense. Yeah, I know what you mean. But you, you know we have a king and queen, right? I recently found out that. Yeah. I mean, they don't really do anything. They do give... Uh... They're just bobbing. Yeah. No, they, mm-hmm. <laughs> they give away <laughs> stuff to charities and shit sometimes, right? Uh, yeah. And if the government is like deciding to do something, the king, the king can say no. He has like so and so many he can choose. And during uh, the yeah. Second World War, he has actually chose to say no 
with joining with Hitler because the government well, wanted good. to do that. Seriously? Oh, Swe okay. Sweden did so. And they say, we uh, didn't do anything. Nah, yeah, you did. You helped the Nazis neutral. through your country no, and into yeah. our country. Yeah. They helped oh, them God, from I hate here. that shit. <laughs> yeah, there was a documentary I was watching about that. And this girl was like defending Sweden because that's where she was born. Being like, but we didn't do anything. We stayed neutral. Um, silence is just as bad. Yeah. There's a reason silence is violence is a thing. That is just as bad. Exactly. You need either... And I, I try to tell myself it's a different time, but I still get angry every fucking time. I don't know. <laughs> angry hen. Angie. Angie. Oh my gosh, she just woke up too. I know. <laughs> did, you, did you eat? No. I literally woke up, took a shower, and then just got on Discord. Oh, damn. Yeah, yep. I, was gonna, I, I don't, I don't really eat the second I wake up. Yeah. So I, I eat lunch, not really breakfast. Yeah, I need to eat something at some point, but that can wait. I'm vibing right now. Vibing. I'm not hungry yet. Well, I'm going to make mm. moose tackle today. The fuck is moose tackle? T moose taco, sorry. Moose taco? What yeah. is... What? I mean, you, you, you kill moose, you get some moose meat, you fucking... You destroy it, oh. so it turns into meatloaf. Oh, okay. And then you just... Do shit with it, and you put it in the uh, taco, like uh, bread or whatever it's called. Does moose even taste good? Oh, moose is so fucking good. How does one kill a moose? This thing's the size of like trucks. Oh, yeah, like they're, they're massive. massive. Yeah, but and and by the law, you gotta do it right, because you're not gonna let them suffer. <laughs> so you gotta oh. really just hit them straight in the heart and shit. Oh my god. We don't have a sniper or a rifle or something. Not a sniper, but a rifle. Yeah. Yeah, that's fucking insane to me. Like, I mean, obviously it's a thing, but you just don't think about people killing mooses on the regular. That's They're fucking right. insane. Yeah. It's so crazy. If they run in front of your car, you're dead. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, even with, like, deer. Deer are built like trucks, too, but yeah. they're tiny. It's but, like, they could dense. destroy your car. Yeah. I, I actually was crawling. Not crawling, but climbing. Like, it was like a steep cliff thing on winter so it's just snow mm -hmm. so when we got to the top we just grabbed the top and pulled ourselves up and when we looked up there was like mooses right in front of us oh that's with so kids. crazy with babies oh were the, were the mooses angry that you were no, there they actually went away but yeah okay could be fucking dangerous I, yeah i've heard that Meese, mooses, mooses, moses they're they're very aggressive they're angry boys i've heard I don't know if that's true, but um, the, I've heard they're grumpy boys. Yeah. I mean, the moms are the most dangerous if you meet their kids. Yeah. Well. Oh, for sure. You <sighs> never fuck with the mother. <laughs> Depending on Ever. the mother. True. Yeah. When it comes to humans. It's a human mother. You yeah, might yeah, be able yeah, to fuck yeah. with it. Yeah. yeah. But <laughs> otherwise, like, we all saw Animal Planet. We know what happens. I like lions. You know, the, Me the, too. the male don't do shit. The women hunt. Mm -hmm. They're just there to fuck. Yeah, they are. They don't protect. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I love it so much. It's so good. That's some female empowerment. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and I kind of weird that I didn't know this earlier, but I found out lately that um, recently, you say, uh, elephant, they have a monarch. Do they really? Yeah, they have a queen. Most, Why are uh, they so fucking group... beautiful? I can't. Yeah, oh. most group have a queen. I love that. Animals. Yeah. Uh, animals. Elephants are probably my favorite animal it growing is. up. Yeah. I fucking love elephants. <laughs> like, they're so smart. They're so gentle, despite how massive they are. They're wholesome. They don't really I want to know. do anything. You really have to torture them, almost. Yeah. Like, they're so sweet. I love them. Yeah. But you did know that the hippo was the most dangerous animal in Africa. Yeah, it has the biggest bite force. It's yeah. fucking crazy. And they're mean. They're so mean. Yeah, they're speedy on land to be so fat, but even faster in water. <laughs> <laughs> Me. <laughs> That's a whole vibe, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, it's like a pug, you know, small legs, but still fast. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh my god, have you seen pygmy hippos? They're so fucking cute. Pygmy? Pygmy, yeah, the little ones. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I was oh, thinking of Dark so Souls, little. what the fuck? Yeah, like, just looking at them, they're so tiny. They're like munchkins, they're so little, I they're love tiny them. tiny ears? Yeah. <laughs> little legs. Oh, they're so fat. What's that animal in Australia called that don't have any predators? I didn't know such a thing existed. It doesn't really do anything to people either. I know. Now I need to know what it is. Fuck. I'll find it. Yeah, find it and let me know. There's a cute little motherfucker on like an island. Um, I think it's in Australia that the only predator it has is snakes. Um, but otherwise there are no predators. Yeah, I guess it could be that. It's really fucking cute. Do you want to see it? It's a wombat, it? right? It's called a... I'm going to butcher this. A quokka? Quokka? I don't know. Here, I'll show you the picture. Look how adorable he is. Just look yeah. at him. It's so cute. But I'm pretty sure that's a wombat. And they look like wombat, wombats. Um, like, yeah, hold on. There's a selfie with one. You need to see it. <laughs> That's a whole vibe. Look at him just chilling. Yeah, that's really cute. Yeah. Those animals are cute. Apparently they don't care like about humans, which is so cute. Like they're just vibing. They look like I think wombats have a bigger nose. If I remember incorrectly. Hold on. Just... Um they look very similar to wombats. Um Wombats look a little hairier though, and bigger. <laughs> so, oh my god, wombats are so fucking cute too. Australia have a lot of pretty animals. Those most are dangerous. Mm -hmm. Like hold the, up, the platypus is cute, right? Just I'm sorry, the platypus oh, is cute, that. but it sweat like milk. That's poisonous. Mm -hmm. I don't even know, but yeah, what are you were gonna say wombats poop squares. Oh, uh, yeah, I knew that. That's so fucking weird. I love it. <laughs> yeah. I don't That's know amazing. what's in their system that makes it so. I don't even. <laughs> oh, my God. It helps it stop rolling away. They use it to mark their territory. What the I fucking love building that. shit? Is Minecraft? They're like, fuck it. I'm going to poop squares. This is my house. <laughs> Dude, there must be kids in Australia that go look for Boombap. That shit to build, you know, yeah. like Lego. <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't. I doubt they do that, Ron. But okay. <laughs> oh man, I'm special. <laughs> oh my god! Hey, let's go build a poop castle. Okay. A poop castle. Whatever kid wants. <laughs> you know, Elon Musk is the richest man now. Yeah, I heard about that. He surpassed who was it? Jeff Bezos was yeah. number one for a I while. Think he, there. Like, yeah, like skyrocket past him. What the fuck would you do with that kind of money? I wouldn't know what to do with myself. Dude, he actually doesn't really own that much, and he's going to sell a few of his yeah. houses. You know why? Why? He's saving his money for the the marsh. The city is going to be built on March. March. Ugh, Mars. Oh, the, the city on Mars. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah he's yeah, saving yeah. his money for that shit. I was like, the marsh? What is that, a nightclub? Like, I didn't know, I didn't know what you are talking about. On the planet marsh. Oh, my God. I'm Norwegian. <laughs> Sometimes I bite my tongue when I speak. Uh, okay, I got you. I got you. No worries. That'd be really cool. He also said he's going to give some to charity. Um, we'll see. But, yeah. I don't, I don't think he's going to give as much as uh, Jeff Bezos. I, don't, I think so. Yeah. I think he'll do enough to get his tax credit and then move on. But I have really low expectations of all rich people, so that may be on me. Ditto. Yeah, it's really bad. But at the moment, the uh, rich people I've seen in social media, he's like the kindest. Yeah, he's but, chill. Yeah, but he's still probably shady one way or another, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Compared to everybody else at the moment. He seems like the most okay guy. Unless you look yeah. at uh, Bill Gates and all the money he has been given. Yeah, given no, away. Bill Gates is a sweetie pie for the most part. Is it his um, wife I'm or sure ex-wife? They, they have like a thing, <laughs> system. 
where they give a what money. a charity they had like a charity yeah know. they did they had a foundation that oh, okay. they foundation, ran yeah. yeah um could not tell you what it's about because i was too young to really know about it when it was in the news and i never went back but yeah mm. they had charity foundations and then they also donated to other charities too yeah yeah do you remember being young um barely damn do you remember eight years ago eight years ago oh god how old was i i would probably have been seven Uh, and a half years ago it's when we met hold up jesus christ what year is that 13 13 okay yeah i do kind of remember i blacked out most of my childhood okay listen I don't know, we can still call it a childhood, can't we? Uh, we're still young adult. In Norway, you're not uh, like, you can yeah. use, you get cheaper tickets and shit for being a young adult until you're like 30. Yeah. Um, that would have put me at, I think, 17 or 18 when we met. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. I'm old now. <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> I love this one. <laughs> you know, your DNA, what? it starts dying now. All right on. Yeah, because I got one foot out the door, boys. Holla! <laughs> the depressing meme of that you're dying from the start. Nah, you're growing until you're yeah. like 22, 25, and then you start dying. Everything's just like dying. Yeah. So yeah, I've heard that. Yeah, you ready? Party. Yep. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, I'm speed running this shit. Oh hell yeah! Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Is Randy not on his PC that much? Um, he is sometimes. Um, mainly to just like look stuff up though. He doesn't really get on to play too many video games. I think he's gonna start though. Okay, it's like mm-hmm. uh, me sometimes. I go from time to time. Mm-hmm. I like to do shit on the PC, but then like I go a month, mostly being on the PlayStation or TV or just other shit. Yeah, he's on a huge. Um, a huge ps4 binge right now hey. Literally, we got it for him we got it for him for christmas two christmases ago yeah. and he just hasn't stopped he loves it that's um, good he though really that means it's it really next. worth it yes he's gotten more than his money back from it hey. he loves apex legends now though i'm okay with apex i'm not much of a uh pvp or so yeah, same i'm actually more like a single player game person same. I much prefer single player. I can play like survival games with people, but that's about it. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm hyped for mm-hmm. uh, a game I grew up with. I played all the God of War games with my brother, and now mm-hmm. this year, I mean, it's the second one coming out, but at the same time, it's probably like the seventh or eighth, because the, the first God of War games were just uh, the Olympian gods and shit, and then yeah. they, they took a long year break and then came back with like the Norse gods and shit. It's pretty fun. Fighting our own gods. <laughs> Is God of War the one with like the really tall, bald guy with all the tattoos? Yeah, with the red tattoo. I yeah, mean, the he, red he, tattoos. He, he's white because that's like a, a punishment because he killed his wife and daughter by accident. <laughs> he be punished by being white. No, I it's, love not, it. like, it's, it's the ashes of the dead people like stuck to his body. Okay, I get your joke. Okay, <laughs> ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine being punished for being white. Some people deserve a good spanking. Actually, you should acknowledge your privilege. People should just Mm -hmm. like, even though you're maybe been through some shit like this and that, you're still privileged compared to a lot that happens. Yeah. Oh, I can actually Uh, tell you that then. Uh, Racism over here is not mostly towards uh, black people. What group is it towards? Muslims and uh, people from the war-ridden countries coming over because they need shelter and stuff. Because like, oh, you're taking our shit to bringing a culture over here. That's yeah. that's yeah. It's still shitty and racist. Yeah, no, that's still super shitty. Yeah. I feel bad for Muslims because they've got such an extremist group, giving them such a bad name. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I want to tell you another fun fact then about Norway. Oh no. Okay, go ahead. Uh, the the south used to really hate us up north oh like, yeah like, you were telling me about that yeah. yeah on the edge of being racist and shit yeah i remember because then... they were like didn't you all block them off during covid oh yeah 
flying we, bar bitches. Yeah, like the, the government was like, you gotta follow our rules now. Nah. You guys oh, are being God. dicks and coming up here, spreading shit. Stop. That's crazy. I love that. <laughs> Actually, my island has like it. a fish uh, factory that delivers the most fish mm -hmm. out of everything in Norway. So that's also placed in the north. Ha. Uh, and then they, they don't want to build a train up to us. <laughs> we have that's shitty true. roads and lots of trucks. Lots of issues every year because of it. Just build a train. And then you're done. In 30, yeah, in 30 oh, years God. you make your money back. And plus. Oh my think, God, yes. People don't think ahead. That's the problem. But they've been thinking about this fucking train for like, I don't know, 50 years. Never do it. <laughs> Oh, that's me though. I'll talk about doing something and I'll never fucking do it. Dude, you should I run this. Run country. I'd be country. too lazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm way too lazy for that shit. Dude, being lazy is not that bad. That's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I just ordered so much energy drink. Ugh. Oh, nice. Yeah, gamer subs. Uh, me and my wife, you know her. Oh my god my wife yes yeah okay sure um we ordered like a mystery uh, flask that's a wifey mystery flask so we're gonna have like a etchy girl on it i guess it's gonna be <laughs> Ooh, nice oh my god actually the energy drink that for quotation gamers is still healthier than the stuff you buy in the store that's cool. Um, I know, like, a lot of people are switching to, like, the powdered Yeah, that's shit. the one I mean. Yeah. Yeah, that's fucking crazy to me. Yeah, uh, gamer subs, they do send you free samples. So we tried that. You only need, like, a, I don't know how much, pow like, uh, powder. It's not that much. It tastes yeah. the same, really. Just, yeah. I like the angry bubbles. I and like carbon energy Oh, yeah, drinks. but we do have the soda stream, so we can just cheat. Yeah. we yeah, just make enough. energy drink then <laughs> yeah. but i did fail i didn't mix i like i i, <laughs> I okay i used to soda stream i got water all right okay. and then i put the powder up yeah i closed yeah. it and i sh i shaked it and then it exploded oh okay so yeah. i gotta mix it with like uh normal water first and then like pour it yeah. over yeah. Yeah, it's good old air pressure there, buddy. Yeah, it's kind of fun though. I just felt my fingers move and everything's just all over the <laughs> fucking wall. <laughs> Everything got blue. I love that. <laughs> oh yeah, we did send your your guys' package. Oh yeah. You guys getting some Norwegian goodies? I'm excited. I'm gonna open yeah. that on stream. Oh, Absolutely. that's up to you. It's up to you. Oh I mean, no, we're opening it on stream. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Um, and uh, we, I forgot to put like uh, we have a few uh, pride flags. I was gonna put one up, but I forgot oh. it. it. It was just laying next to it, and I f didn't see it when we ran out the door. That's okay. It's the thought that counts. Yeah, it would just be funny. Hell yeah! Oh my god, look at us supporting pride! Wow. Yes. Oh, we kind of have to. We're gay as hell. Yeah, that's true. I mean, you're mm. more. How <laughs> so? <laughs> trying to steal my wife i'm not stealing you man that has nothing to do with my sexuality it has everything to do with the fact that she's beautiful and i like her not like that but you know i like her like I, that i try to steal a lot of people's wives okay i just you fucking I slut women. yeah i'm not a slut i just love love okay <laughs> fucking lover <laughs> Oh, wait. Actually, when we're on that subject, you're not slut-shaming. Yeah. is fucking stupid. Yeah. If you're single, just do you. But if you're hurting people by doing it, then don't. That last yeah. thing. I call people a slut that hurting people, but if you're just, like, having fun, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as long as you are having fun, everybody's cool with it, and you're being safe about it, I honestly couldn't care less. Yeah. Like, it's like do yeah. whatever you want. Exactly. It's like the story yeah. Maria told me about the uh, Someone posted that she got pregnant and didn't know who the dad was and shit. Like mm -hmm. now, a few weeks ago, and everybody was calling her slut and thing for not knowing. But Poor baby. it's during COVID. Nobody yeah. is like talking about she's doing that during COVID. That's the that's the focus, not being yeah, not having sex with people when you're single. 
<laughs> yeah. Like, it's not a big deal that she's, like, ho- not even hooching around, just, like, fucking around. Like, that's fine. Yeah. But you got strangers in your bedroom. You don't know their cleanliness habits. You don't know anything about them. That's dangerous for you. Exactly. And your baby. Oh, my God. If you keep the baby, it's dangerous for your baby, too. You did. You do know what happened in 1920, right? What? There was, like, a pandemic before that. Mm, I'm and, sure I know about it, but I've slept since learning it. So fine. Uh, then they had like the raging twenties because everything oh. was more okay again. So people fucked and had parties and did oh, this and yeah. that. And that's kind of like being foretold is going to happen again because we haven't been able to do shit. So now when is everything safe again? People going to party and do all that shit again. Oh, fuck that. People are going on a bender, and I'm I'm just I'm staying inside. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm gonna stay inside. I've already decided I'm gonna continue to wear my mask after the pandemic. I don't. Give oh a yeah, fuck. same. Like Japan. Yeah. It, it's, it doesn't have to be a courtesy against you. It could be like it's. I mean, it's a courtesy against yeah. other people too. Just if you feel like a little bit like sniffles and shit, wear the mask. Cause yeah. yeah. Oh no, I'm gonna wear it even when I don't feel sick. I Safety. like it <laughs> between me and other people. Yeah, I like, like it because I it hides love, my face. I love that it makes me less approachable. Because I have a very like, oh, I want to be nice to that chick face. No. Karen, don't approach me. I don't want to hear about your 15-year-old daughter's new boyfriend. I don't give a fuck. You see <laughs> the mask? Stay away from me. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, my God. I'm just... Mm-mm. Bye, I Felicia. like that it, Antisocial. <laughs> Yeah, when I'm outside, I put on like an angry face, not on purpose, but I just look yeah. mad because I don't. Oh, I, no. I'm not rude, and I'm not a mean person. I just I want people to not come to me. Yeah, no, I can immediately turn on the resting bitch face too. It's okay. I totally get it. People smile coming towards you. You just turn it on and oh fuck. <laughs> angry, <laughs> angry. <laughs> what are your plans for today? Um, coffee, probably some Apex because um. Apex's new season starts tomorrow, so me and Randy are still trying to push ranked a little bit. Jesus, so I'm, I'm just bronze four. I never did it this season. I am plat four, um, and I'm about to rank up to plat three. Randy's almost to platinum one, and that's what I think our goal is, is platinum one, and then if we can make it, we're going to go for diamond for him. Ooh. So, yeah. Oh, we I had like some it. good games yesterday, so... Oh, that's good, that's good. I cannot join in with that, because I had one today, came second, and if I play with people that have been playing, I would have, like, dropped you guys down. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, we'll have to play some pubs at some point. Of course. That way we can have some fun. Because, <laughs> Randy, you're like his little boyfriend. Like, I don't think you all have ever had, like, a genuine verbal conversation, uh-huh. and, like, he's already claimed you. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm it's taken. a bromance. I'm taken by him. <laughs> yep, it's true. It's a beautiful relationship we have here. I'll take your wife. You can have my husband. Hey, cue the Niga yep. Higa song, bromance. <laughs> if it is, I think it's his. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I have no clue. It's been a. Oh my god! I just remembered. Do you remember Ninja Sex Party? Yeah, they're still a thing. Oh my god. Everything they do is a fucking bop. I got Randy really into it a few years ago. And then I came back from like the grocery store yeah. about a week ago. And him and my friend that works at like works out of our house were oh sorry, I just said my mic. They were listening to Ninja Sex Party and it was the cutest thing. They were just sitting on the ground in the office just <laughs> watching Ninja Sex Party music videos and I was like, oh, my youth. Oh my god! So long ago, because like the the I found them when I was eighteen. That's fucking six years ago. That's crazy to me. (laughs) Hannah, you're getting older. I'm old. Help! Help! Dude, stop! (laughs) I was gonna say, you know, when uh, Sons of the Forest coming out? I have no clue when it is, but I I know know when. Yeah. Let's look up. I I was going to say, I'm not going to stream it, but I'm going to record it. Oh, bet. I, I wanna, Hell yeah. Yeah, I want to start doing more on that shit, so. Hello? Hello. What the fuck happened? Every now and then mine, mine does that. But it says, um, 
the forest is going to release sometimes this year. It doesn't say like when. Yeah, I know. But I said I was going to record that. Yes, I did hear that. Yes. Okay. I, I'm dream it though. Yeah, no, it's, that's fine. That we sounds fun. Because I want to do it with people, obviously. Cause it's going to be more fun. Oh, yeah. I'm so down. And you're the person I like to, if I was going to record, I would like it to do with you. Because not only because you're funny. Mm -hmm. But because you actually do the like, you mute your mic shit when you talk to chat, so you don't like disturb the. It's the quality, bro. It's all about the quality, you know. Yeah, because when I'm recording, I can't talk to anybody like outside the screen except you guys. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, no, I'm definitely down. I'm gonna build the best goddamn house ever. Hey, I was gonna see if Ben want to join mm -hmm. in because he wanted to play that game. Oh yeah, I'm down. Three I'm people down is better. That. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh my god, oh, okay. Excited. Let's fucking call it a quits. I'm cool with that. I'm starving and I need coffee. Perfect. That, that was fun, okay? No problem. I will see you later. Yay. Yeah, yeah, Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Okay, thank you guys for watching. It was the first episode of the podcast. It went the way it went, okay? So, this is a thing we're going to do every two weeks or once a month. It's going to be just switched around. You'll see it when you see it. I'll be having different people on every every time. Maybe sometimes just the same person or maybe sometimes maybe three or four. But yeah. Thank you guys for listening and I'll see y'all another time. Bye bye.